What's up guys? Got the second part of the video. We're gonna go over how to connect the Chia Harvester to Windows Chia Farmer. Uh, Chia Harvester is gonna be on Linux. Um, let's take a look at everything very quickly. This is my farmer. This is on the Windows, okay? And you can see my farm. If I scroll down all the way at the bottom, show advanced options, you can see my harvester network. I've got a, another harvester connecting with this port, uh, eight, actually 8448, and that's another machine I have on my network, okay? So let's minimize that. I have WSL installed on Windows, which basically lets me run Linux on Windows. Uh, this is actually Windows 11, and we're gonna walk through uh, setting up secure communication with the certificates. We're going to um, copy those certificates. We're going to um, get the plots, which I've already done in the last video, and then I'll show you that it's actually working at the end. All right, so let's jump in and get started. Um, first, we need to ls into this, and you can see I've got this Iron Man CA folder. So basically, this is my farmer certificate. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy those. So I'll try to keep this as clean as I can. So I'm going to use a command line tool called secure copy. We're going to use dash r because it's a directory and I'm going to tab complete onto that folder. All right. And I'm going to connect to my other machine, which is Falcon seven. And I'm going to use a colon and we're going to go to the home directory and I'm gonna put it under Nick, and then we're gonna put it under Farmer CA. So what this is saying, we're gonna copy this directory, Iron Man CA, to this machine, to this directory, and I'm gonna call the folder this. All right, let's hit enter. Uh, how about we do it again? <laughs> All right, so you can see I copied my cert, the key, private cert, or private cert, private key, okay? That's all been copied. Now I can um, go to that machine. All right, so let's go SSH, Nick. We're gonna go to dot uh, seven. This is Falcon. All right, don't even need my password because I've got secure copy or secure shell keys set up, whatever they're called. All right, so now if I LS here, you can see I've got this folder, Farmer CA. Okay, I've got uh, plots 05. So if I look at that, directory, you can see there are my plots, okay? Now I wanna get these plots to show up on my farmer. So let's go over to GitHub. This is github.com slash chia-network slash chia-blockchain. I'll have this in the description. I'm gonna take code and copy. Now make sure it's the HTTPS one, okay? I'm going to go back to this and I'm gonna type in git clone and right click to paste that. So this is gonna take a copy of this repository and it's gonna put it on my harvester machine. So I hit enter. All right, it's gonna copy that into the Chia blockchain folder. And then we're gonna go into that folder and we're gonna install it. So sh install.sh, okay, enter. Now this is going to ask me for my password, put that in and now it's gonna fetch all of the install files, it's gonna update my system, and then it's gonna install the Chia blockchain um, code onto my Linux machine. So while this is running, we'll go back here and show you that there's there's nothing here. There's this machine, and then there's my local machine that has uh, other plots that are connected to it. All right, so let's go and let this install. It really doesn't take that much time. I lost all my stuff on this machine, so I gotta reinstall Chia blockchain anyway. But I wanna show you a, a quick little trick here. Um, so while I've been farming these Chia forks, what I've been able to do is put all of my database files on a separate drive. Now I'm not gonna be storing the Chia database on this machine because I install it on my Windows machine. Um, but what I can do is I can have all the files from Chia blockchain go over to um, my other data drive and that way all those files will be safe if my OS decides it wants to crash again. All right, what's going on with the dependencies? It should be installing, it shouldn't take that long. All right, I don't know what happened, I just hit enter. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to activate this. That's gonna put us in the virtual environment 
for GeoBlockchain. Now, I already have my Farmer CA. I need to take that and put it onto my Harvester so they can communicate nice and secure. All right, so the way I do that, I type in Chia init-c, and I'm gonna go find that Farmer CA folder. So I just go to the root here. I can type in Farmers and then tab complete, and that will take all of the information in that folder and use it. So let's hit enter. Now what you'll see is it's saying, okay, permissions are too open, it needs to do this, so go ahead and run this to fix those permissions. So I'll do that, copy it, and paste it. Oh, why did it do a comma? I don't know, let's just type it out. Chia init fix SSL permissions, enter. All right, so there it goes. All right, before I go on, I'll just show you it says deleting your old one, copying, all right, and then attempting to set permissions, okay. So now if I ls in here, you can see that everything's been done. Um, we've got this virtual environment, all right. And if I do chia plot show, I don't have any in there. So let's add the plots that we connected with chia plots add directory, that's dash d. And then we're gonna go up to the root and we could do that. What I like to normally do is I'll put in home and then the name and then the directory. I don't know why, but I tend to have better experience with that. So um, let's hit enter. It adds it. So we do chia plots show. Now we can see that we've got this plots05 directory. So another thing I like to do is chia plots check. That will check all the plots that are loaded, okay? Now those warnings are just because it's on a machine I don't have a key on right now. All right, and let's uh, copy out of that, control C. It's testing those proofs. All right, so what I wanna do now is I wanna go into the Chia config, but before I do that, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you this, uh, let's, go, let's go all the way back up and deactivate this, okay? Um, I'm gonna to go to the Barracuda data drive, the one I made, and it'll show you that I've got all of these different blockchains here. So I'm gonna actually move the Chia blockchain stuff over to that, but it's just gonna be the folder that was created when I run Chia init, which is the dot Chia. So let's go here. We're going to copy, so copy the entire directory of Chia, okay, no slash. And then I'm gonna move that over to Barracuda. And I don't wanna put it in this fork DBs because it's not a fork. I'm just gonna copy it here. So I hit enter. Now, if I do this LS, you can see that Chia right here, okay? If I try to go into that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I copied it. <laughs> I normally move it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go over here and I'll delete that afterwards. So let's go here. Uh, LSA, and you can see there's Chia right there, okay? So let's um, connect. So we're gonna go back here and remove now that directory, and you'll see why in just a second. So I'm gonna completely remove that, make sure it's gone. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, so let's, let me show you how you can connect, uh, it's called a symlink from Linux, so that if you have data stored in somewhere else, it doesn't even really know, it just connects there. So the way you do that is I'm going to type in sudo lns dash s, and then I'm going to type in the location of where that new Chia directory is. So it's in Barracuda and then dot Chia. And I always try to tab complete everything that I do. Um, that way I just know that it's there. I'm going to remove that slash. Okay. So this says I want to make a sim link. Okay to this location, and what do I wanna call it? I wanna call it dash Chia, all right? So I hit enter. So now what that did is if I just do cd.chia, that's gonna put me into the Chia directory, but it's actually going onto my other data drive so that all of my stuff can be there. Um, that way, if my OS crashes, I don't have to worry about it. All right, hopefully this is a helpful tip and I'm not just going into something that you don't care about. All right, uh, let's finish this off. So if I go to the Chia drive, you can see that I've got mainnet. All right, let's see what else is in there. I've got all this stuff. 
All right. So I need to go to the Chia blockchain, activate it, and let's, um, well, before we start, let's change the file in the config. So we'll do nano uh, Chia mainnet. Where are you? Uh, config, that's right, and config. Okay, now I already changed this. I'm just gonna scroll down. There is another way you can do this, but this is the way I'm gonna show you today. It's finding harvester. So I want to, this is my farmer peer. I wanna change this, which normally says local host, I think, self host name, something like that. Uh, this is my Windows IP address for my farmer. So I wanna change that, control O, enter out of that, and control X to go back to here. And then since I've got my plot set up, I wanna do Chia start harvester. All right, now let's make sure it goes. It's already running. And what I'll do is open up Chia now on my Windows machine. It's gonna to connect to the wallet. Come on, let's go. They really need to make this process faster. I don't know why it has to take so long. Don't, maybe put some music in here while it's connecting. Wow, this is really taking some time. All right, I'll come back after this connects. Okay, so now I'm back. So you can see it's not synced because I closed the program. So now it's gonna have to take a couple minutes to sync if I go to, where is it, wallets. Uh, yeah, not synced, not quite. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's go to farm. Let's play here, okay, so it's already synced. So now we'll go to the farm and we could see that my plot count has increased. I was at 1160. So we've gotten 35 more plots. Uh, if I go to show advanced option, I can see my harvester network. And now this is the host name, well, the IP address of my other machine. So we're connected. Uh, let's just double check. Let's go back here to the plots. Let's uh, get all the way out of here. And I'm going to um, go into the plots directory and there's a command where I can count the number of files and let's just go do a Google search how to connect or how to show number of files in Linux Really? How about we do how to count? How to count files in Linux. All right, here we go. Should be easy enough. So WC, all right, so we're just gonna copy this command, go back here, paste it. I don't know what's going on with that today. All right, lswc-l, that's right. Okay, so we do wc-l of this directory, 68, okay. So I've got 68 plots, but I only added a few more. So maybe it just hasn't gotten them all yet. There we go. So it took a couple of minutes to scan all the plots and make sure everything's there. Um, all right, so now I go one more time back to farm, scroll down to the bottom and this is my harvester network. So I've got all of my, um, I've got all of my plots connected. So that's how you do it. That's how you connect a Linux machine harvester <laughs> to a Windows Chia farmer. All right, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.